attitudes towards communists and communism when you were in high school? Yeah, I don't think that American people really understood uh, communism very well and what it meant. Uh, you know, when I was a child here, even in Abraham Lincoln, we'd have these drills uh, where the bell, you know, the siren would go off and we would go all get underneath our desks. And the reason for that was we were concerned about, you know, a bomb being coming, you know, an atomic bomb or some type of a, uh, a uh, large-scale weapon that could actually hurt us. And I don't think, I think the, the, the fact of the matter is, is that the American country, which is a democratic country, could never understand, quote, communist China, unquote, because it wasn't, according to our eyes, uh, you know, a free society where people could do what they wanted like we have here or like we had even in my time. So I think the attitudes were naive because they did not understand what these cultures were. And, and uh, it, it, it was so naive that it caused the United States to enter into the Vietnam War, which caused tremendous problems for this country and also expanded into Laos and Cambodia. So this naivety that occurred way back then and misunderstanding of what a government is and what kind of system they have uh, brought a lot of problems to us. And that, that's my answer to this question is we didn't understand it very well. And as children growing up, we would get underneath our desks. And so we ourselves were programmed to believe that communism or people from a communist country like China or other countries like China were out to hurt us, which wasn't really the case. Um, what were attitudes towards gay and lesbian people like when you were in high school? Uh, you know, the, when I was growing up in San Francisco and also attending school here, there was never really an issue of, um, uh, this was never really an issue. People weren't really allowed to, I think, it was hidden, if you will, so we didn't really know it. But, you know, when I would go down San Francisco, for example, you know, we knew that people uh, had a certain lifestyle, uh, but we, did, we just sort of uh, allowed those people to live. We didn't really make it an issue, or we didn't really discuss it, you know, as something that was important to us. So, what I'm trying to say here is that we didn't think about it that much. We didn't, we didn't ask ourselves whether it was right or wrong. We never even considered that. We just, in our mind, we understood, okay, these people live this way, and that's just the way it is. So I think today, the difference is that uh, people have, have come out and they've said, okay, this is our lifestyle, and so they want to have, you know, respect, if you will, and, um, you know, equal rights, if you will, in terms of partnerships and how those things are done. But when I was a student here, we knew that was there, but we never really, it never really was an issue in our minds.